Hi, Mark the Snake Hunter here, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite snakes, the red-bellied black snake. As the name suggests, it has a glossy black back, and of course a red, pink, or white underbelly. Typically, the younger the snake, and this snake Alana here has got a very young snake, it's got a reddish color, the younger it is, the older it gets, the more that red turns into a pink or white color. Now, these snakes are very beautiful, as I said. They typically grow up to about one and a half meters long, that said, an enormous two and a half meter specimen was found once, and a fellow snake catcher in Newcastle found a 10 kilogram specimen once, which was just enormous. Come, let's learn more about these beautiful snakes found in Australia. The life cycle of the red belly black snake is actually quite interesting. Now, males will travel a very long distance to try to find a female red belly black snake, like in the human world. Then from there, when two males find a female together, they may tend to fight, the f fight each other for the female's attention, also like in the human world. The winner gets to stay with the female while the male actually has to go away, also like in the human world. The female actually can give birth to up to about 12 red belly black snake babies at one time, and this typically occurs in around summer. However, an interesting thing is documented about red belly black snakes before this occurs. Now, it's reported, though I've never seen this, that female red belly black snakes tend to congregate together um, just before they're about to give birth, and we don't know why they do this. It could be for protection or some other reason. What? Oh, it's going into my pants there. Let's pull that out. Once a red belly black snake female gives birth, um, they don't actually give birth to eggs, so they don't actually hatch eggs. Unlike other black snakes, they actually give birth to live babies. Now, the reason that they do this is because red belly blacks are actually in colder climates. Now, being in colder climates, this gives, having this unique ability gives them the advantage to regulate their temperature or expose their babies to much better temperatures that the mum can control if the eggs are inside the mum at the time while they're being developed. Now, the reason we're in my car is because this is one of the funniest stories about where I've actually found a snake. A gentleman was driving down from Seymour to visit his cousin in Mernza. Halfway down during the journey, he basically was driving his car, looked down at his feet, and he saw a red belly black snake crawling between his legs and that went up and underneath the dashboard. Once he arrived in town, he basically got out of his car, locked it, and called me to attend. A mechanic and I spent two days pulling the entire dashboard and everything apart, and eventually I found the snake hiding near the airbag. But the reason that we find red belly black snakes in very unusual places is because they like to hide. Now, long before we built houses, they would hide under logs or um, wood that's fallen to the ground, or they'd hide in bushes. We've replaced their habitat with our houses. So weird places that I found red belly black snakes now include in the car, uh, underneath a dog kennel in Greenvale, I found one in an apartment complex in Essendon, I found one hiding under a kitchen sink in Eltham, and all other weird places like that. And because of their desire to hide a lot, red belly black snakes show up sporadically in these weird parts of Melbourne. The rumour is that red belly black snakes are not aggressive. Now, that's not necessarily true. The fact is that no venomous snakes in Australia are actually aggressive. That said, you should never do what you're seeing me doing here. Yeah. There we go. Snakes just want to be left alone, and if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone as well. However, if severely harassed or provoked, a red belly black snake bite can actually be potentially fatal. What red belly black snakes generally do before they bite is they can hiss, bluff, they may even do a mock strike towards you. However, if they feel really threatened, they can flatten out their neck flatten out their neck, hiss a little bit, and raise their body horizontal above the ground, ready to strike towards you. In no circumstances should you ever attempt to provoke or harass a red belly black snake in any way. If you leave it alone, it will leave you alone too. Now, being a type of black snake, the red belly black snake's venom is predominantly myotoxic. That said, it does also contain anticoagulant properties, though clinically significant coagulopathy is actually rare but can occur. That said, evidence of blood disturbance can be used to identify um, a red belly black snake bite in some people. The myotoxicity, or otherwise known as muscle destruction, that can occur from a red belly black snake is entirely preventable but is permanent, so it's important to get treatment as quickly as possible. 
The red-bellied black snake is unique amongst other black snake spe species. Its venom contains both procoagulant and anticoagulant toxins, but as said, clinically significant coagulopathy is rare. The red-bellied black snake also contains neurotoxins as part of its venom. However, clinically significant incidents pertaining to its neurotoxicity are also rare. So in my hands, I have both the red-bellied black snake and of course the lowland copperhead. Now these snakes are both fully loaded with their venom and could bite me at any stage, or they could turn to eat each other but I wanted to demonstrate the difference between the two. Both have got a black back, but the red belly black snake has got a much more glossier back. Both have got like a reddish stripe on the side of their body, if you can see that now. However, if you look underneath, they got slightly different color bellies as well. The head is the prim primary difference between the two snakes. So the head of a copperhead is of course a coppery color, and the head of a red belly black snake is still a glossy black. They have different shaped heads totally. One, this one here, is a type of copperhead snake, and of which there's three different types of copperheads. Check out my other video on this topic. And the other is a type of black snake, of which there's many different types of black snakes, and I'll be sure to make more videos on this topic as well. It's easier to get the two different snakes confused, but I just wanted to show you at home the difference between the two. The primary threat to red belly black snakes is of course feral cats, so make sure you lock up your cat at night time, and of course humans as well, because humans destroy the habitat of native snakes, including the beautiful red belly black here. Thank you so much for listening to our video today to learn more about this beautiful snake, the red belly black, which is looking at me quite intensely. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the relevant social media links in the description below, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for our latest videos about venomous snakes of Australia. Mark the Snake Hunter here. Thank you so much for listening today. Now I've got to figure out how to take this thing off me to put it away.